lies you can only tell your children once. They've got a Tootsie Roll center. Oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you I was product testing a new alarm clock. Well, it works. Oh, let me guess. You were up all night reviewing that stupid video game. Hey, hey! Gloom 4 isn't just any game. Gamers have been waiting three years for this to... When's the review due? Yesterday. <sighs> Mom, I can't find my ballet outfit. Mom, somebody hid my soccer uniform. Oh. <sighs> Joe, this is a tough week. I really need you to help. But I always try to help, you'll say. <laughs> Watch television. <laughs> but this time, I need you to help in such a way that's helpful. Okay, drop Nicholas off at daycare and straighten up the house and... Wait, wait, that was too nonspecific. Yeah, I know. I mean, today! Oh. That's my scrunchie! Ah! Zelda, stop screaming! Tracy, brush your teeth! Ugh. Liz, stop yelling! No one's listening to you! Oh, by the way, could you pay the light bill and the phone bill and pick up the dry cleaning on your way to work, honey? Uh, got it. I'll do it. Did I mention this is a tough week? Oh, I, I forgot no one listens to me. I'm listening, I'm listening! What's this week? Oh, I remember, I remember. Just remind me. This is Performance Evaluation Week at work. Knew that. Uh, which means... My performance is being evaluated. Probably just another way for Gordon to cut the payroll. I've got to make sure when he starts swinging that axe, it doesn't land on me. Achoo! Aw, <gasps> oh, Joe, don't let him use his sleeve. Hungry. A little. But I'll grab something left. Oh, 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 you. What? It's not his sleeve. Here. Achoo! Ow! You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say Nicholas was coming down with something, but that can't be, right? Because... Then he'd have to stay home from daycare. Oh, he's fine, aren't you, Nick? Achoo! See? No green. It's clear. He's fine. Ah, oh, where's my miracle bra? I need a miracle! You're not worried about the bra. You're worried about work. It's Don't. You. Ow. Ow. I didn't hear anything, did you? Hear what? Is it my imagination, or is children's programming getting a little edgier? I'm their top performer. I'm their top performer. I'm wearing a miracle bra. I'm wearing a miracle bra. Liz, heads up! You're looking especially full of bounce this morning. Ready to have your performance evaluated? Ready as I'll ever be. 
Well, of course, as far as I'm concerned, you're all geniuses, and I'm a genius for hiring you. Until the day I have to fire you, when your IQ suddenly plummets 100 points and mine stays the same. <laughs> That's why I decided to bring in an outside evaluator. Someone whose objectivity I can trust. Liz! Val? After all, she does a great job picking my ties. <laughs> <laughs> My, it must be hard to work efficiently surrounded by so much <laughs> clutter. Hmm. Liz Larson here. Ms. Alexander? Your son is sneezing. Achoo! Achoo! And I knew you would never send a sick boy to daycare where he could infect a group of innocent children with one of thousands of microbes, including but not limited to flesh-eating bacteria. Achoo! Would you, Mrs. Larson? Again, Mrs. Larson? Oh no, parenting police? This time, we've got you on a 304. Passing off a sick child is healthy. <laughs> Come on, you're going downtown. Mrs. Larson. Send a sick boy to daycare? Oh, of course not. My husband will be over to get him right away. Excuse me, minor crisis. Oh, don't mind me. You go ahead and do whatever it is you do. I'll just listen and take mental notes. Oh. Your younger daughter looks just like you. Thanks. Of course, with today's advances in reconstructive surgery, there's no reason she has to continue to look like you. Or your husband. Get thee to a nunnery, you pathetic worm. You couldn't pillage your way through a colony of blind, club-footed, toothless lepers. <laughs> you have reached technical support. Your wait time is one minute, give or take a week. <sighs> I just have to call my husband. Good idea. I'm sure my husband, your boss, would understand the need for the occasional personal call, as long as it doesn't get out of hand. Hmm? Please don't put me on hold. You might be next. Liz Larson here. Yes, it's Mommy. Achoo! Achoo! Tracy, Zelda, not you too. Uh, okay, sit tight. Someone will be over to get you. Isn't it always the way? <laughs> There's a crisis and it's the nanny's day off. I don't have a nanny. Oh! No nanny? Well, that's wonderful for me. I'm the chairperson for Wu-Tan, women unable to afford a nanny. I need a poster, Mom. It would mean a lot to me. She, I, I don't know. And when I say a lot, it would mean a very, very enthusiastic performance evaluation with no mention of the host of personal calls that I've witnessed <gasps> eating into your workday. I'm your poster, Mom. Good. We have a lot of Wu-Tan planning to do. I'll be back in a jiff. I just have to eviscerate... Uh, Evaluate some of Gordon's other peons. I mean personnel. I just have to find a babysitter. In school. Retired. Just out of prison for stabbing her husband 43 times with a soup spoon. Mom. What the hey? They wouldn't have paroled Verl if she was still violent. We're sorry, but due to another tragic stabbing incident, this time with a spatula. There is no service at the number you have dialed. Oh. Mom? Okay, I reached the walled city of Mortos. Now how do I find the entrance to the labyrinth and defeat the Duke of Darkness? Hey! I got a fossil here. <laughs> okay. First, stand on your left foot. <laughs> Keep the leash taut. Remember, a virus can remain active for up to 30 feet. Now I see why you were too busy to pick up your children. Uh, yes, can you hold on for a second? Sure. <laughs> Francis, why are my children here? We're sick. I had to pick him up and bring him home while you were playing hopscotch on the phone with your unemployed buddies. Come in, kids. I sneezed 12 times on the way home, and Tracy only sneezed seven. But I threw up. 
projectile. That's Gaga's little girl. Come on, children. Gaga's gonna give you some cough medicine, tuck you up in bed, and read to you from So You Want to Be a Proctologist. Oh, I had just drifted off. Oh, it's gonna take me forever to... <laughs> I think you're still holding back. Hi, Mom. How are they doing? Did Gaga give you your cough medicine? His colonoscopy a pain in the butt? Of course I gave him cough medicine. Mom, look what Gaga taught us. Oh, I wouldn't wish this back on your Aunt Betty. May she rot on the ground. I would kill for your back. I have hemorrhoids the size of the space shuttle. I going through the change. Ma, they sound just like you. I know. Isn't it wonderful? Give Gaga a hug. I'm so proud. <laughs> you cannot penetrate the Dolomite Mounds of Gastron, mortal fool. Oh, you said you were going to help. And I will, I will, just as soon as I finish reviewing this game. Joe, get a grip. It's a game. This is our life. I need you living it with me, not off on some other planet. Game over. Uh, okay, I'm back. Tough day at work? Gordon has Val doing my performance review. With her evaluating me all day long, I couldn't perform. I've been there. So I had to bring a ton of work home. And I need your help with the kids before Mom turns them into carbon copies of her. Hey, I just had a wild thought. Why don't I look after the kids? Thanks, honey. Okay, Francis, I'll take over. Are you sure? I was about to read the kids' lethal parasitic infections of the Midwest. I'm sure. If you need me, I'll be at home. Let the phone ring. Takes a while to get out of the heart and lung machine. Hey, Nicholas, let's play a game. Oh, look, a monster truck. Marnie, 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 Marnie! He's only two. It doesn't mean anything. He's only two. Push, Marnie. Crush her flat. Give Marnie lift? I go beauty parlor. Ooh, nice man. Strong. <laughs> Good morning. We need to make a decision about the kids. Isn't it a little late for that? Everyone knows we have them. There'd be questions, an investigation, maybe. School? Are they well enough to go to school? They could infect the other kids. Well, let's see. You haven't finished your report. I haven't finished... My review, and the kids seem... Those are my shoes. Well, that's my dress. Perfectly normal. Well, I really have to finish that report. <laughs> you have failed again, you miserable cretin. Game. They missed the bus? They caught the bus. And then the bus monitor caught them. <laughs> you know, honey, normally I would be glad to look after them, but... I know, I know. You're trapped in an alternative universe inhabited solely by eight-year-old boys of all ages. I'm hot. I'm thirsty. Me too, and I feel itchy all over. Me too. I said it first. But I thought of it while you were saying it. Okay. Sick kids. Husband in another dimension... Boss pitting one employee against another, while his wife, the sorority sister from hell, plays judge at the snack food playoffs. This is a job for Mega Mom! Oops. Tracy, Zelda, Nicholas, get into your bed. You can watch cartoons. I'll bring you some juice as soon as you're under the covers. And not a minute sooner. Joe, go back to whatever planet you're on. Hi, Gordon, it's Liz. I'm going to work from home today. 
You'll know I've been working if the report is finished. Okay? Thank you. I can do it all. And nothing can stop me! Gordon tells me you're not coming in today. A good choice. You need time to get ready. We've moved the Wu-Tan luncheon to noon. Noon to day noon? There was a conflict with the women unable to afford a pedicure luncheon. Anyway, we need you there at 11.30. You see, the thing is, my kids are sick and my husband... You know, I like you, Liz. I really do. That's why it would be so sad if I had to tell Gordon that you're underperforming. I'll be there. Good. See you at the luncheon. 11.30 sharp. You have failed once again. No, 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 no! <laughs> Mom? Liz, why don't you share with us what it's like to actually raise your own child? Well, it's a lot of hard work. But the rewards are worth it. Nothing can replace tucking your kids in at night or watching them when they take their first steps, being there for them when they're... Sick. Look at her. So brave. In control. Good teeth. Come one, come all, to see the greatest spectacle on Earth. Liz, the working mom. She raises kids. She dials for pizza. All without the benefit of living health. Not too close. We don't want to frighten her. to each other. Remember your job! What am I doing here? I have three sick children at home. You can have your charity and my job. I have a family to take care of. And that's what wu -Tan is all about. I wish my nanny felt that way about my kids. You insignificant gnat. Once again, I expel you from my fortress. <laughs> I showed them. That'll teach them to treat me like some kind of circus exhibit. And as for Val, she can give me a poor performance evaluation, which would only be fair since with everything else going on, I haven't been able to get my report done. So Gordon will probably fire me. But at least, at least I'm home with my family who need me. Now, what should I do now? Oh, I know. <laughs> Mommy, go boom! I'm a terrible wife. A terrible mother. You weren't such a terrific daughter either. Francis. Sorry, hon. I, I'm s sorry. L Liz is wonderful. She's a great mother and an even better wife. If you should be disgusted with anyone, be disgusted with me. I am. Okay, let me try another tack. Um, Liz has just been overwhelmed these past... How old are you? Ten. Ten years or so. It's not easy dealing with two kids who always bicker, another who is constantly stealing her makeup. Nicholas liked mascara. <sighs> and a husband who gets easily sidetracked. Well, not anymore, Liz. Go work on your report. I'm taking over. I'm going to clean up and make dinner. I'll see you in ten minutes. Obviously, you don't need me anymore. I'll be home watching the Reattaching Severed Limbs channel. Liz, where do we keep the vacuum? Don't worry, this doesn't count toward the ten minutes. <laughs> Joe, the kids! Joe, this is not working. Well, I'm doing the best I can. It seems no matter what I do, it's never good enough. Well, it's just that sometimes your help is worse than your... You are a true avatar. You have attained the supreme level and vanquished Gloom 4. Was that Nicholas? It's okay. He's all right. He's better than all right. He's the coughing for distance champion of the universe. 
And why were we arguing? You thought I wasn't helping enough. Rhetorical question, Joe. Oh, I knew that. It's okay, honey. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. You always manage to look on the bright side. I have no choice. Oh, the red bill is the final notice. Uh, sorry, honey. It's all right, honey. Finally, I can get some work done. I might even finish my report. Gordon will never know what hit him. I love strong women. They energize me. <sighs> By shredded your performance evaluation, you mean Gordon picked it apart? No, I mean shredded it, literally. It turns out Gordon decided he didn't need Val's report. Seems she'd given him some bad advice at home on choosing an electric toothbrush, and he no longer trusted her opinion. He decided to go with his ample gut, so he put her performance evaluation through the shredder. Well, I have no platitudes for that one. Eh, that's okay. It's over. The kids are back in school, and my mother isn't here. You know, I'm amazed you're not crazier than you are. And by that, I, I don't mean to say that you're, you know, crazy by, by any stretch of the... Um... I know what you mean, dear. After 12 years of marriage, I can find the compliment. <sighs> so it's just you and me. No kids. No moms. <laughs> <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after with dogs.